everyone, we have an announcement to make. Stop bullying! Everyone, we have an announcement to make. Eat ass! I bet you that ninja, uh, wish he never stuck his head out the door. <laughs> Wait, he was trying to do a drama channel? He clowned me for doing a yeah, drama channel. You no, know, he wanted to turn the order into a drama channel when I told them specifically when we got together that's not what it was going to be. I wasn't just mm -hmm. a nobody on the show. I was helping him rebuild his channel, just like Brent does. Huh? You tried to talk some sense into Rican several times, saying, hey, if you don't like what's happening on the show, then why are you going on it? You know, if you got some yeah. problems with Henry, why are you still in this court? Why, you know, you tried to tell him that. What do you think was going on? So this is about just being an asshole, and he got nothing else better to do than to troll people and cause real problems. Yeah. You're a victim. Oh, mm. Here we go, CSI. It is all your fault. You did this with your goddamn trolling. Uh, and you just would not let it go. <laughs> How does it feel being all your fault? So this is about just being a You know, so he, he likes saying that, but <laughs> he, do you notice that like he doesn't really, he hasn't really taken accountability for, for stuff. You know, I fought for you, man. I stuck up for you. I went through the fire with you. I backed you. I tried to help you and I really tried to get you on a, on a better track and, and really tried to make your life more aligned, you know, and you didn't want that. And I cannot help you if you don't want it. And obviously you don't. So this is what I'm going to say. Lose my phone number. How have you been, man? Long time no see. Friend of the channel. Let me tell you, just because I haven't come up doesn't mean I wasn't supporting in it's, the back. Bro, don't, I was don't, a ninja watcher, but I was still supporting you. So don't, don't I don't want you to think, shit, yeah, because what this bastard was saying was not true. Oh, we so know. I, we know. So we know. I just want you to know. <laughs> yeah, I said through two hours of that. Yo, so, how did you do it? It was like Kenny Lowe is just like this. He like, he need a cigarette. Let me just tell y'all. <laughs> okay, what really did it for me and when I told, because he was trying to steal my shit and tell me I did not tell him, you know, I wanted, he didn't want me to write the script, which he did. Cause Drew, Drew can confirm it. He told me and Drew in the damn um, chat that he wanted me to do the script, but I told him, I said, okay, I'll show you how to do it and you can do it yourself. He wanted you to do the martial art choreography and all of that. Uh -huh. And then wanted us to direct. So I told him, I said, no, I have my own. Since you want to talk about my shit, it's not out. I have my own shit I need to work on. I'm sorry for cursing. Um, oh, you good, man. Henry, but cook, cook. he, yeah, looking at this, looking at it again, it made me laugh and I was burnt up because it's like, why am I, why do I need to lie about you talking about a script, writing a script? That's nothing to lie about. Right. But then when he comes in and um, tells me I'm trying to break up their relationship and I'm jealous of him, <laughs> I told him, okay. You and me both. Shit? I'm jealous of him too that he cool with right. the Right. Where's your shit? <laughs> What? Oh, Henry, check your um, check your uh, Instagram. I'm, I'm, this is my petty moment right here. Check okay. your Instagram now, y'all. He keeps telling y'all about you know, being co-signed. He wants he wants to tell y'all being co-signed, right? This right here was sent to me for free. Did not even have to pay for it. That I mean, these women I go see on the uh, when they come, we talk on a not on a daily basis, but we talk probably maybe twice or uh, three times out of the year because I met them last year. Now, when you see Catherine, I sent you a screenshot of Catherine. Read what it says and who's being co-signed. Pull it up for the whole world to see. Yeah, let know? everybody see it. Because, you know, seeing is believing and what be happening with um, uh, Rekin and most people who <laughs> lie is they don't expect the truth to come out. So when they don't expect the truth to come out, they go up there capping and be like, oh, well, you know, yeah, yeah, no one's no one said anything. Uh, here we go right here. This is from I think you sent me this to um, like I you that, but this is what she put up a couple of days ago, right before this whole crash out that he decided he wanted to. Yeah, 2024 was such a blast. Kenny, Kenny Smith, Kenny Lowe Smith was grooving at the VIP party. Kenny, you are a delightful as always a joy to see you. How, have you got your tickets for the final Ranger Stop and Pop well, next year? <laughs> oh. I believe that far. Okay. But what I'm saying is, I speak with Catherine almost on not a daily basis, but every so often. Mm -hmm. She, the Kia, and Karen, they all have a t shirt of mine. 
Karen, no, not Karen, but uh, Nakia and Catherine have a book of mine. So when you tell me I don't have shit in my shit lane, and not to be not, and let's not forget, let's not forget when I saw Rocky. Well, when I saw Stephen Cardenas in April, when I saw Karen, he immediately knew what this was, Ninjetti. And I told him, I said, no, it's inspired by. It's not Ninjetti. He told me, he said, I don't care what you say, but it's still Ninjetti. <laughs> so my thing is, Steve was laughing with me the whole entire time. Kate, I mean, Karen laughed with me the whole time. I can go up there to them right now if I wanted to. These ladies have already said they will work with me. Why would I bring you along when your crashing ass is doing this bullshit and could make possibly, you know, ostracize me from them? Oh, yeah, yeah. I Like, I knew where you were coming from. I knew exactly where you're coming from. You made a, a smart business decision, guy. That, guys, this was a smart business decision. His goal is to work with Rangers. He cannot be working with people like Rican who could jeopardize his relationship with the people he's working with or wants to work with. And oh, looking at looking at looking at how Rican conducted himself and crashing out and still trying to steal people's artwork, you made the right decision. And I told him, I told him several times when we was doing the order, I told him, I said, bro, he wanted to turn it into a drama channel. Now, what you don't know is he um, <laughs> kept saying what? he was telling me and Drew, oh, Wait. we could come up against it. Huh? Wait, he was trying to do a drama channel. He called me for doing the yeah, drama channel. He, no, he wanted to turn the order into a drama channel. When I told them specifically when we got together, that's not what it was going to be. He wanted to, you know, bash the um, bash the Rangers. He talking about we want to hold them accountable, but yet he wants to come over here and steal your, you know, your subscribers and take them over there two hours. Now, let me let me say this before I come uh, keep going. Renee's at work. She called me and told me she can't come on. Oh, she God. She, God. Told she told me this. You got to go, you gotta take that. a bathroom so, break. You got to hit to the bathroom, <laughs> click the link, and be like, oh hey, Henry, what you said? Oh, she's back there. Oh, she she's back there. Oh, she's she's, there. she's waiting. Okay, yeah, okay. Just see in the private chat. Okay, I do see her. I see her. I see her. Oh, she must have okay. just got home because she had called me and told me that she was still out. So she must have just got home. Okay, Renee, if you could so, come up, girl, that would be like tremendous. I, I'll give Kenny Lowe like two more minutes to clear his stuff up. Go ahead. You got two minutes, oh, Kenny. Oh, you my girl coming up here. That's my friend. You could just hey, hey, Oh, wait, hey, no. Wait, she wait. said she's at work. She, she said she's, she's still at work. work. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. she's still at work. So she can't cam. Okay. But she is, but I think she is in the background. Okay, but, she's back there. Let's go. Keep going. Yeah. So the thing is, uh, he didn't tell y'all that he was over here actively trying to take your people to come over there and go again, you know, to try to become the biggest podcast that he wanted to do. What do you mean my people take my people? I don't got no people. Come over. All of, he wanted to come over, get on cam, you know, promote and all of this stuff. And then the more promotion he got, he was going to take him over there. She said she only got three minutes. Okay. Well, <laughs> all right. Let me bring her up then. Let me bring her up. Okay. All right. Come on, Renee. You up, girl. Let's go. Speak, speak. My internet husband, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is my partner in crime, Renee, right here, guys. Okay, look, Kenny, yeah. I'm gonna drop you down, but I, I really yeah, go I, ahead. You I, go I, ahead and have Renee because she ain't got that long. So go okay. ahead. All right, go ahead, Renee. How you doing, girl? How you been doing? I'm good. I love your show. If you haven't heard, I uh, you know what I've <laughs> I've heard. A little bit. Uh, we we got to confirm. No, we 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 heard the rumor. But what what were you thinking? Because you tried to talk Rican. You tried to talk some sense into Rican several times, saying, "Hey, if you don't like what's happening on the show, then why are you going on it? You know, if you got so yeah. many problems with Henry, why are you still in this court? Why you know you tried to tell him that. What do you think was going on? I don't know. And honestly, this is the thing. It's scary because I. I'm trying. I'm trying to understand him. And when I do my show, I like to bring anybody on and I try not to be biased. I let them talk about it. I have a platform where everybody's open to share, whether I like it or not. It's just a place where we come and we gossip and we, we share the hot topics. But you know, you're a hot topic, Henry. You're a hot topic right now. <laughs> I mean, we can use this relationship that you can and we can have. I'm just kind of like, it's blowing my mind right now. Okay. It's kind of like single black female type uh, deal. I don't know. Okay. However, I, I, you know, I didn't know Henry can, was this big. I, I have history with Rican. I'm saying the history is that I cuss Rican out a lot. We, we oh. get into it a lot. I mean, we fight. 
So um, I'm a little worried about him. I am. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm concerned. And I know he's going to see this stream. And I know that Monday he's going to contact me and he's probably going to do a rebuttal. Oh, so I'm God. just letting you know. Oh, God. Okay. I mean, this is not going to end. It's not going to end. You, well, you, you, you're doing this, and I mean, I am, I'm enjoying it all. I can't, I, you sure know, I'm going to go. He addresses stealing the guy's artwork to pass it off as his own so he could try to get a job at Hasbro. Oh, wow. Oh. That. I'll ask, I'll ask him about it. But you know, when I ask Rican, it goes to like being like maybe one or two hours of a response. Can we try to keep it like 40 minutes? I'll try. I tried, you know, but he's very passionate. Okay. Yeah, but you know, he be he be selling wolf tickets. He be lying. We we didn't caught him in several lies. We got uh -huh. we, we got proof that he literally tried to steal someone's artwork. Got caught out on it. Then he called the guy a clown. Um, I mean yeah, the, the list the list goes on. You know, he wants he thinks I'm a bitch, but yeah, he wanted to be on my Discord and on my on my channel. Uh, it is really bad out here for Rican, and I really don't. I don't. Need, I don't see a path to recovery for whatever image he has left of himself, or any type of credibility going forward. Yeah, well, I, I really, I hate seeing him like that. Though I do, I have a little compassion in my heart, you know. Oh shit, you better um, than me, girl. I got no compassion. I know. That's why I like you, I mean You remind me of myself <laughs> in the middle of over. <laughs> No that's why I come to your channel okay you give me the hot topic so I'm, I'm hoping that I'm gonna talk to him Monday but I promise you he's gonna have a rebuttal he's already done told me he's gonna have a rebuttal I'm gonna send you something a little a treat in your email maybe later on tomorrow and then you let me know and we'll go from there all right okay well that was Renee everybody thank get back to work girl Get back to work. All right. Thank you. Thank Bye. you for coming on. Peace. All right. I got to kick her from the background because we got people trying to get in. Um, I'll let, I'll let Kenny Lowe finish it off. And then we got to kick you out too. So any last I words? Know that's not a problem. I'll be still around if you need me to come back up. But let me just say this. Um, he also at the end of that, uh, at the end, we did that. Now, I usually I'm an open book. People know this about me. I don't I don't mind telling you guys about my life. Most of my supporters know I'm a bisexual guy. But what I don't do is I don't. Oh, cry. yeah. He tried to he tried to say, hey, Kenny, right. he was gay bashing. How you feel about that? I'm like, right. And also, I did not tell them because I told them I only tell people I trust. But most of my family, everybody knows about it. So I'm not, you know, so that doesn't bother me. But what mm -hmm. bothered me is they went behind my back and went and kept this shit and thought they was going to blackmail me with it. But I'm like, you can blackmail me. With, well, this is what I'm thinking. I don't know, but this is what I'm thinking. When I tell them, you know, this was all you had to do was ask because I would have told you. Okay. I mean, this is not anything that, you know, is not a secret. But I didn't tell y'all because I'm not close to you guys like that. So for you to try to use that against me ain't going to work. And then this is another thing. I don't know if y'all heard. He talked over me when I when I only met this man three minutes, and he wanted to use my work that I worked hard on for 18 years. Talking about if we can't get in the door with Hasbro, you know, with my man Jenny, we're gonna use Kenny those bitches, son. No the fuck you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. And I saw his ass. <laughs> Oh, so no, you got. And so I his plan that. was you always to steal artwork. someone's artwork. It always and, was the plan. And then he gonna talk about my shit ain't good, but yet I designed that. Yes, it's inspired by the Ninjetti suits because I always thought they was nice. But the artist took it and made a, a redemption on it and made it look a little different. I even though it is inspired by, I didn't steal it because I told him change a little bit so it doesn't look like I completely copied it. Right. So what he's doing is taking AI and the bullshit he can't even recreate. <laughs> so uh, use AI. Oh, yeah, use the AI. And then Henry, look in your uh look in your email. I sent you some more work. Now I'm the one that did the spot fund for him. He he didn't lie. I I I did the spot fund for him. Set it up. So I told him, you know, I had said it at a uh, hundred thousand since he wanted to try to get the Rangers to come work and try to do all of this. He set it down to five uh, to 50 K said that that may be a little bit 
more doable. I said, okay, well, whatever you want to do, just do it. Oh, I don't now nah, he wants to give me credit, but he told me I didn't do shit for him. I ain't doing, you know, I my shit ain't working, and you know, how many books I'm selling, bitch. But at least you saw Candy Bears, she she done did my shit for me. And Renee is my girl. I brought them to Renee. He ain't gonna tell y'all that. I brought them to her. She didn't want to work with him. Damn. She told him to his face. And he's still over there big like a puppy dog asking her to work with him. Ooh. Ooh. So if you tell me I don't want to work with you, why the fuck you still in my face asking? And she said this to him. Let him to cook. Face. I was there. So, I mean, he can come up here and lie and say I'm lying if he want to. Renee can rebut this. She even told me, she said, Kenny, I don't care. You can say it. Because it's true. Oh, all right, it's Kenny. Kenny, true. I got to stop you. You, did, you didn't cook too much. You didn't cook too much. <laughs> I appreciate I'm not going to let you come up here and destroy my Look, character. When y'all when y'all stream next time, let me know. I'll try to. I'll oh, try we're to doing make... something tomorrow because um, Brenda reached out to her. She got uh, reality coming on. Then she got Laura. So we got me, right. me and her. We're going to be working tomorrow on I, them. I'm not streaming tomorrow. What y'all need, just let me know. All right. Oh, you already know. I'm I'm always in touch with you. So okay, all right. Look, man. Thank you for coming up, Kenny Low. Man, we appreciate you, man. I got to kick problem, you off, bro. All right. If you need me, just let me know. I'm in the chat. All right, peace. Because we got some thievery out here. It is all your fault. You did this with your goddamn trolling, uh, and you just would not let it go. <laughs> How does it feel being all your fault? So this is about just being an asshole. You know. So he he likes saying that, but he, do you notice that like he doesn't really he hasn't really taken accountability for for stuff. So like the the talking to other girls in DMs, um, you know maybe he should have said, "Hey, I shouldn't have done that." You're right, uh, you know, or maybe uh, with the whole artwork thing. It's not my fault that he <laughs> tried to steal someone else's artwork. Okay. Okay. And that artist posted on his social media about it. So, I mean, it's already out there. I just, I was just, I found it. I got a hold of the guy. And that's why I was like, here, Henry, here you go. I was going to run this in my video, but people want the juice tonight here. This How is did you come across the fact that he stole this guy's artwork to try to pass it off as his own? Someone told me, and I'm not going to say who, but someone told me. Oh, and <laughs> you start someone, digging. <laughs> someone was like, hey, you know, uh, this happened. And I'm like, oh, really? Dig, um, you like to dig. Can you get me in contact with him? And so I sent the guy a message and he was happy, very happy and eager uh, to share those screenshots. So, oh, you know, what, what whose fault is it really? He did it to himself. That's, I didn't do anything to him. That's the truth. I didn't sentence. do anything to him. Just like Henry, when you do stories about these Rangers, you're reading court documents. You're, you're, you're showing what they're, you're showing their screw up stuff they did. What did I do? I showed. Stuff that Reekin did. 100%. I made him tell on himself. A thousand percent. A thousand percent. We literally, we, Reekin became the content. Hey, what did we do? We watched Reekin's video. We watched it. That's what we did. We watched his, we watched that shit come from his mouth. We read messages that he sent. Not just about me, but pretty much everybody. About TJ, about Dust, about Cayenne. Uh, he also posted messages about April in Discord. That were very uh, unflattering, uh, but you know maybe they now made it up, and you know and everything. But all we did, guys, tonight was play his content that he made, that he sent from the horse's mouth. You heard it from the horse's mouth. It's not like I came up here or Dust came up here and said, "Hey, this guy's a piece of shit." We didn't say that. Hey, we just showed it. We showed it to you. Now you can make up your own determination. But what when you were reading this story, right? I think the craziest part about this story. It's not the fact that he called him a clown or, or whatever or anything like that. It's it's the second message 
I think it's the one where he says that he ain't taking shit down originally. He's like, I ain't taking nothing down. Okay, so you thought that would well, yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, really? <laughs> I'm not taking ish down, LOL. And then he tried to get on the guy for him using Hasbro stuff without getting permission. He was like, do you get a license to use their stuff? You made a fan film. You don't own the right sale of it. You can't do anything without Hasbro permission. So why are you really mad? I'm in charge of a movie and a movement for the franchise. <laughs> the money being raised is not for personal gain, but to pay creatives involved and uh, to partner with. What are the odds he, he gets a license from Hasbro to okay. use this? Okay. <laughs> use this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, check this out. How can Reekin offer this guy a job at Hasbro when he doesn't have a job at Hasbro himself, when he wants to use that guy's artwork so that we can get a job at Hasbro and then we can be like, Oh yeah, yeah. Now I'll get you in. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Really? Man. Like, and you know, the, with my fan fiction, like originally, uh, we were in the Discord and I asked him, like, hey, uh, do you got a script yet? And uh, he was like, no, man, I don't have a script yet. Uh, and this was like months ago. And uh, he's like, no, I'm not a writer. I'm looking for, you know, someone to, to help me write it. What the My fuck mom. does he? He's not a he's not an editor. He's not a writer. He's not an animator. What the hell is he bringing to the table? An idea? Well, we got then we got on the subject of like fan fiction and uh i'm like well i i've written a little bit of fan fiction i'll, I'll post it for everybody to read and it, that's why i posted it and like and i can't find i can't find that section in the discord um i found part of it where i'm because i shared fan fiction twice uh -huh. and uh at one point he was like thanks i needed this and i'm like dude i never said this was for you whatever i'm never i'm not a writer and in the Discord, I said, I'm not a writer. I'm not writing a comic book. I ain't doing nothing. This is just some shit I wrote. Here, read it. You like it? Cool. And if you don't, whatever. I don't care. You know, but if he wants, and that's why he said, yeah, I wrote three pages of his script. Well, no, I wrote a bunch of fan fiction and he took it. And then I was just like, whatever, you can have it. Mm. Mm. After the fact. But okay. That's fine. That, that's interesting. Now, what what do you think about the notion that Reek? Well, one, he got caught saying he was on the channel for two years. What is this notion that he grew? He helped grow the channel. <sighs> it's his ego. Um, I'm sure a lot of people will agree that yes, it's his ego. He thinks because he said before he's bigger than the internet. He's bigger than us content creators. He's bigger than me, Henry. He's bigger than you, Henry. He, he you know what? He, he's bigger than Renee. He's bigger than all of us, you know? And, and so he, he don't need us, but yet he still need us. He still needs Renee, huh? Oh, he, he, he can't cut his own video, can he? He can't edit his own video. He needs Renee for that. You are 100% right. Uh, and I, I thought it was I thought it was odd that I'm like, dude, why you don't just put the video on your channel? Why you don't just go on your platform and make a video? Because if, if someone come at me, oh, hey, hey, yeah, hey, hey, they, they XQC mentioned me. Hell yeah, I'm about to make a video right on my main channel. We gonna cover that shit. <laughs> we gonna cover that. But the fact that he's just like, nah, he doesn't have the skill set. And I'm like, what are you doing with all your time? It does not, it does not take much guys to learn how to just cut, you know, cut a video. Quick cuts. Start, stop, cut, render. And then like with, there are free editing programs out there, so... Even if you don't have the money, you can use DaVinci Resolve for free. For free. So the fact that he's not doing this, he's relegated to going on other people's platforms to tell his story. And that's what he needs. Sorry, people are like messaging yeah, me. So and you right. and it, and he can even he can even have AI edit since he got the sauce anyway. <laughs> yeah. Now Last thing, what do you think of him just blaming all this shit on you, calling you a troll? Because he he can't in his mind he can't be wrong. 
Like he's just, he, ju he tried justifying himself stealing that artwork, right? He tried justifying uh, trying to use Kenny, right? Like uh, Kenny's horrible, but yeah, he needed him for stuff, right? Right. Because Kenny put something out. And uh, so he's just trying to justify how, like, uh, I put out this, since I put out this video, it's all my fault. No, man, listen, if I hadn't done that video, eventually somebody else would have cut something because you would have pissed somebody off or ripped somebody else off and it would have been over and it could have been much worse. Well, yeah. I'm going to drop one more video, one more video, Rican, and I am never going to respond to anything you say. No more videos on Rican. His 15 minutes is up for Damn. me. Ring the bell on him. All right, man. Thank you, Dust. Yep, no problem. All right, man. Appreciate you. Everyone, that's Dust. Go subscribe to his channel, Dust Productions. Okay. First of all, Renee, every time he brings Francis up, it's give me some of that vagina. Yeah, He's but that may not be what effect. other women want okay. to hear in the. But first, we need to give Henry his flowers, too, because. Henry, like whether you agree or disagree with Henry on everything, the thing is, unlike Reekin, Henry comes with receipts, he comes with facts, he comes with court docs. So you can't get not not get any more objective than that. And thank you, Henry, for accepting me in your community. <laughs> and you know, honestly, I, it's been cool connecting with a lot of different people and stuff here. So, oh man, you yeah, know, so. we we a family strife. Now, don't take that yeah, right. too crazy. You know, we got somebody talking about the family. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, like family members don't fight and disagree. I've disagreed with Strife before. I've disagreed with Drew yeah. before. And uh, hey, we're, we're still here. I think I was hitting Strife up. I don't know. Not too long ago, I asked him a question about uh, editing. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, what would you like to say first, Strife? Because you interviewed with Re Reekin. You've seen this shit up close you've seen the two hours you've seen another 30 hours and renee said he's coming back tomorrow to cut another one what's your thoughts i'm just gonna say uh, the reason i wanted to bring drew up on here because he and i were kind of like close well drew more so than me but tied to reeking in, in very certain situations so first of all the first episode i did with kod reeking asked uh me and drew and others to intervene with some of his problems that we was having with women in the discord which to me i was like uh i'm just here to record an episode with you guys but you know i i did it as a friend because i was like you know what hey i'm gonna help iron out issues and stuff like that i will say though reekin was trying to spin a narrative a certain way of like you know hey this is what's going on this is not what's going on not realizing that the way he's coming across is all about as, as you guys have all seen with everything here how he, he's, he's omitting information and things like that i mean me and drew we smoothed everything out we you know we were as objective as we could like hey here's some fault here on both sides not saying that you know the girls were necessarily wrong in what they did but you know the main conclusion as always as we've seen here tonight reekin does not know how to take context like knows nothing about context when it comes to text um, Drew, feel free to jump in whenever you can. I was going to mention yeah. about the quote unquote intervention. If you'd like to talk about that, Drew. Yeah. yeah. Well, first I want to say I'm back. Hey, everybody. Sorry. It's been a while. Thank you, Strife. Thank you, Henry, for everything. Happy Veterans Day. I'm wearing my favorite movie that has to do <laughs> with every year oh, I wait. represent did, veterans. Did, did, didn't you John a bunch of veterans if I can, if I don't recall from the first Rambo? Hey, we won't be talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> talking about that. We're talking okay. about Sylvester Stallone like that. Okay. So that's the thing about it. But yeah, like Strife said, we had there. We've had several. Uh, well, I think we're up to. For me, I've had three interventions with Rekin, To be honest, um, and I and 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 Strife will tell you. I have had to clean up Reekin's messes. And because I felt when I first met Reekin, he asked me, can you show me how to talk, communicate, be professional, grow in a certain way? He asked me that. And because I'm, I try to be a good enough guy, you guys know my health. So I, because of that situation, I try to go a little bit above and beyond than most people normally would because of that. So that's what I did. I tried to help him and I tried to give him 
some tools and different things, books to read. I spent hours talking with him, kind of growing him, trying to do that, gave him catchphrases to remember to help him out. I really put in the work on Rick. That's why I'm burned out. I put in the work on this dude. <laughs> you invested in him. And I did. I did because I said, well, this is a young guy. Maybe he just needs some help. God might be pushing me in a direction, so I'll help. That's what I tried to do. And when Strife came on, which I commend him for this. He did not have to do that, but he was with me there and we went in and the whole time Rican was trying to make as many excuses as he could about how he was not guilty out of this. He never took complete blame and owned it or apologized properly the entire time. It kind of came at the end of it to a, the girls were more kind of like, well, because Drew and Strife kind of handled things so well, we're cool with this halfway apology that he tried to throw out. But had we not been there, none of that would have gone down and no meeting would have happened because he just would have let it ride and continued to do what he does. Mm -hmm. And today, boys and girls, like Mr. Rogers, <laughs> I am not going to hold my tongue because people tell you Drew's known for holding his tongue and kind of bounce. I'm not going to hold back my tongue on Rican today. You guys can ask me wherever the heck you want. Okay. Yeah. With that being said, before y'all go, let me interrupt you because we got we got go someone I need to acknowledge. They don't acknowledge know. me. Yeah, of course. Goddess Div said, hey, Drew, things are getting even better. Let's catch up. Don't invest. Don't investigate in those who can't invest. I think she's saying don't invest and those who can't invest in themselves. He just wants to skate. It's true. Yep. Thank you, Goddess Div. I, I appreciate that. He has skated and he has lied. And very much like Matt said, there there was a meeting. We know that since it's all out there, where there there were there were a group of us, and it was literally uh an intervention to try to get him to see where he was going. Because my thing about it was. Rika needs help. He needs professional help. Th this this crash out and all that, he, he needs to seek some professional help. And I told him this. You need to go seek some professional help and you need to step away from the movie, the the comic book, whatever, social media. You just need to step out of it. You know the and crazy thing is when I banned him from Discord, I told my mods and they could probably vouch for me. I'm like, this is for his own good that he gets mm -hmm. banned. Yeah. So he's not so so uh, obsessed and consumed by it. Maybe he'll take that time and put it into something a little bit more productive. But, I agree. Uh, Drew. I agree. Can you talk about Reekin in April? This was someone super chatted in. Shout out to chat. <laughs> because um, mm -hmm. I think in your, your, uh, your interview, your 30 minute clip, you mentioned that, that there were some inappropriate pictures or something shared. What happened was it wasn't inappropriate pictures. It, they were just honestly, from what I saw, they were just like basic. He was asking for pictures. See, Rican's thing is he asked for pictures from these girls, I guess, in the, in the best view. Nothing, uh, you know, like adult trying to say it right nothing adult but he just wants to see like i guess their best pretty picture or whatever they got for some strange reason and a lot of these girls they just didn't think any they uh, especially like with april she i don't think she really thought about it you know oh and so she he just, would say hey send me like a selfie or something right yes so that yeah he would say send me a selfie and then they'd send a selfie and he'd be like oh okay yeah 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 you know you look good in the picture whatever the heck you know and that's how he would do things. But the thing about, here's the thing about Rican. The problem that he had was out of all these girls we know, don't know about, whatever. Once they kind of caught on that, like, ah, maybe this is a bit much. I'm trying to be nice to this guy, um, but it's just a bit much. Then when they tell him that, he'll get mad and then he'll blame the entire world's problems on them and yell at them. And say all kinds of negative things like about legs, you know what I mean? And all that stuff like that. That's how that all comes out because he gets mad that he's being rejected. He has abandonment issues. So he gets mad when it feels like things aren't going his way and somebody's leaving or something's not going 
according to his favor every single time he did that and i went behind and cleaned up all his messes i would talk to these people and be like what the heck happened and yes i do know about the artist thing because i was there when this all happened Stri- okay. Wait, strife you've been quiet man are you are you are you before we get to the artist thing are you aware about the whole female selfie thing uh a little after the fact it happened yes okay. um after the fact that it happened i was aware of it all right and you, do you also agree with drew that rika needs professional help yes and here's the thing right there's nothing wrong with professional help i've stated numerous times on my own channel i've stated on here i have ptsd right from being in a bad relationship and not only for my sake but for my girlfriend's sake i went to therapy and i've actually like unlearned a lot of things and stuff like that so what Rican also doesn't understand if he's coming at across a certain way like like he did in the episode like well why won't they tell me i'll be a creep I, you know well yeah if you come across aggressive in a certain way of course you're gonna have these women be like you know like hey uh i don't want to tell him no or it's hard to tell him no because i'm afraid of what he might say or what he might do i mean you've seen he's dropping threats of like hey i'll show up to your house and stuff like that you know and stuff it's just it's so stupid so yeah he i I agree with it he needs to get help uh and here's the other thing too right like he he always he has this perspective of like oh well this happened right so it must be true so let let me ask you this reekin when you were saying like you were a white knight for hobby and oh go ahead sorry i'm not reekin you said let me ask you this (laughs) reekin Oh, sorry to, to to as if he's watching. Okay. Oh so, yeah, he's hundred percent. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go yeah, ahead, go ahead. Oh. Let me ask you this, Rican. Why are you white knighting Javi all of a sudden when you were saying that gay people had enough representation or too much representation, and you didn't like the plot line in the MMP, uh, MMPR comic book? Uh, why are you white knighting for Javi when you when you told me like, hey, Strife, your brother's gay, right? What would you do if he if he turned one of your children gay? Like, what what's so you know? You're not mentioning that fact. Uh, you're not mentioning the fact that when you had me on for KOD, I helped you and Drew in this long, detailed email of what to do, like like the chapters and timestamps, right? That was all me. I said, hey, copy and paste this. Like you, Henry, I helped him with this channel. Here's the title. Here's the SEO. Here's the thumbnail. So when he talks about like, oh, you know, just give me the keys and stuff like that. Dude, I gave you the keys. You put the keys in the garbage disposal. Like damn so yeah that thumbnail did stand out i was like it, and when i looked at it off site i was like oh, okay strife likely did the thumbnail but you know who you know what do i care what do i care yeah it, it was and it was it was to help them you know yeah so wow okay now go no. hold, go 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 back in uh drew about the april and Rican thing okay okay so the thing about those two was you got two people that made maybe not the best decision. Okay. Hanging around each other, talking with each other, maybe sharing things they, they shouldn't, shouldn't share. Okay. And it just, it went bad. But the thing about it that I will credit April for is that April was kind of the one that was trying to like get away from that. Right. And Rican chase after her was the problem and she was trying to get away from him and he chased her and he and when she rejected that chase like go i don't want any more of this kind of a situation i kind of want to get out of this he got more mad and that's when things got worse that's when he really started speaking crazy to her that's when he really started coming down that's when he's like women aren't this and women aren't that (laughs) started really doing that because then, like I said, when you make him mad, he takes everything out on you. As an example, boys and girls, if I say back in 1985, I threw a lollipop at the back of my teacher's head. And I was like, Rican, that's my darkest secret. Like, don't tell anybody. Rican gets mad at me. Oh, that's it comes out. Yep. He'll say it. He'll say it and be like, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, he's bad because, see, he makes mistakes, too. Because he did that with the Brent thing. He's like, oh, well, you yelled at Brent. So how come it's not on me like that? He, he, he did that in April, too. He he put on yeah. her personal business, too. He, See? So now you guys did in, it. In the court, it was like, oh, you just going to air her out and show her messages yep. and all that? Oh, okay. She pissed you off because she called him because like a weirdo for uh, following us or or something. This was after he got the Aaron thing, which how's that Aaron interview coming? 
I haven't heard anything back from Aaron. <laughs> Shocker. You know? Shocker. I, I haven't heard anything back from him. I mean, you know, I know I'm sure he's busy and stuff, whatever. It's it's yeah, all good. He's working you know? on Legend of Dragon for sure. But Strife, go ahead. You said you is there one more you said you had one more thing you wanted yeah. to use there. So one of the interventions that Drew had talked about, uh, right, the, the most recent one, right, which kind of led to let's we can say, you know, this and blah, 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 blah. So I was invited to that, but I couldn't make it that day. And I really wish I would have been there uh, because, Drew, if you don't mind me saying this. Yes. What with Renee was saying as uh, well, you know, she's going to have Laura on. Laura also acted a very certain and distasteful way towards Drew and said sided with you know, hey, I know I'm with Reekin on this one and whatnot, which is a slap in the face because, you know, Drew, as you said earlier in the stream, Henry, Drew did all the work for KOD. Oh, yeah. Reekin, yeah. And, Laura, Reekin and Laura were all on for, the, on for the ride. And so for Laura to just, you know, do these posts on IG, which, yeah, Laura, if you're watching, I'm calling you out, too. I don't give a shit. The thing is, like, you can't be saying like, oh, you know, I'm, you know, I need to breathe and I just stuff like that. Like enough with the bullshit facade. Like, who are you fooling? Like, you know, you have people like me Let him Drew. cook. Drew, more especially because I have respect for just as much as you, Henry, because, you know, Drew, you know, knows people. He has connections. Yeah. So my you, grandma you guys literally are all, just text me about him. She's like, Drew's on early. Yeah. You guys are all elite to me. So, like, I have a high respect for you guys. So oh, for you. some no name and some other facade person want to just do this stuff, like, come on, man. Like, you, like, what the hell are you doing? And for I, I just cannot wait for that interview to drop tomorrow because I'm going to be in there in the comments again, you know, debunking all these false claims. So there's that. Oh, no. Right. Strife. And I'll add on to, to the Laura situation and I'll say what happened. Hold on. Before you get to that, uh, Kyle uh, yeah. Pepper, the cheerleading troublemaker said, bring up the antenna tingo DMs, Henry. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay. I'll oh, yeah, let's hear it. I look one. Send them, send, send the DMs you want me to share to me personally to, to DM me the message because I think they're posted in a shrine and it's like a lot of things posted in the shrine and we still got like a hundred people watching and we got like five other people in, in the back that still want to come up. So, um, was there an antenna tingle? Like he, he got bricked up by somebody or April bricked them up or something. What is the, you, you, you know, that you, one of y'all have to know the story, uh, Drew. Spill it. Oh, oh, ahead, shoot. You said hey, you could ask me anything tonight, guys. I'm not yeah, biting my tongue. Drew, I gotta, you gotta hold I one. my tongue. I gotta hold you accountable. You know what? I gotta hold you accountable. It was, it, okay. April got him bricked up, I bet, right? Yeah, gosh. It, it was, it was in reference to an appendage, uh, wait, area. Wait. Do you know what bricked up means, Drew? Well, you're asking about the antenna. Well, <laughs> that's what I'm explaining is yeah. the antenna part. He pitched the tent. Okay, uh, Cayenne, send me them DMs. Go, go ahead. We'll let you. We'll let you go. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what that was about. Go ahead, tell the story, Drew. You ain't holding back today, so. Okay, the 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 antenna story. All right, so this is what I know. That he had a conversation with her, and wait he for said people it, who don't know, her, say name. Don't just say her. No, I got say who's the goddamn <laughs> okay, name? Fine, fine. A April. All right, so April, Enrique had a conversation, and apparently what went down allegedly. Um, allegedly, my ass. Allegedly, I, got, I just got the DM. Is Johnny Cochran would say allegedly. Um. He had an appendage that was in reference to an antenna and like antennas, like the old school ones, you pull them out, you know, and like Rita likes to say, make my monster, as you guys know, that's what the reference was. And he I, had said that to April. But that was the best he could come up with. I guess so. <laughs> like god dog man so but no I'm, I'm just really disappointed like with with all this like not to just kind of beat a dead horse but with like your girl renee and all these interviews and stuff like that i've been poking holes as you guys have seen in the discord of everything that he said there we go we got it up there now so, you can see it with yourself you just make my antenna tingle i can't help it fish she's mortified i mean, I mean sis that's gross haha -ha. love you too 
like a stepsister porn. Oh, there ain't no weirdo text, huh? There ain't no weirdo text. Yeah. yeah. This generation yeah. is weird. You got three kids. Stop to act like you ain't no freak. Oh, got this ninja. Got this ninja. Got you know what's so funny ass. about there like the other thing about this too, right? It's like this whole like his, his Instagram story, which I unfollowed him by the way because I was I was just sick of seeing him. He was like, "Oh, I'm in my quiet era." I said, "Dude, all you've been doing is having just posting out content for an A. You want to talk about a real uh, quiet era? Look at my channel. I've been posting shorts every day." I worked on my fourth long form video script this week. Actually, before I jumped on here, that's why I was like in the chat listening. I was like, hey, you know what? I'll, you know, I'll hop on cam. It's been a while. This conversation like, is uh, between April and Rican. But go ahead. Sorry to interrupt you. Someone asked. No, you're me. good. You're good. I was going to say, but like, you know, that's what a real quiet era is. Like if you, Rican, here's some advice from you from uh, a creator that actually has a resume, unlike yourself. You want to really talk about a quiet era, get off the internet, get off social media, and do the work when you when you have the work when you have a resume when you can be like you know us quote unquote haters then you can you know tell whatever you want but the thing is like if you're more concerned about a discord server and stuff like that i don't know maybe you just don't be on the internet <laughs> tell me <laughs> oh, I mean, saying, look, man, I I'm agree sorry. with Strife. I, 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 I told said, him this too. I said that same thing. He's like, "Oh, you calling JDF soft?" I'm sure y'all y'all heard about that. I'm like, "Look, man, if being on the internet is impacting your mental health, you got to get off." But the reason I called him soft is not because he his alleged mental health problems. It's the meme. It's the meme of it all. If this is if this is put is putting you off. I don't know what to tell you, man. But you, you know, and it's, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. And he supposed to be smacking up Brent and giving Brent wedgies at in the on site when he see him. But this right here is his kryptonite. And look, I'm in the I'm in the meme too. And this ain't the first time he didn't did me like this. Uh, but it is it is what it is. I so Henry, one time I had somebody told me that like, wow, this guy all he does is rehash Cobra Kai content. He's never gonna, you know. They told me like put something out, like put something out that has six figure views on something else in Cobra Kai. And guess what I did? Put out the Clever Lang video, which is sitting at nearly seven hundred thousand views right now. Let's go. That's the best way to shut people up is to actually do the work. Oh, I agree. So, you know. So yeah. Rican, you know, take take your notes, bro, because obviously you don't know how to use technology. <laughs> get a notepad, get a spiral, get a pen, and just do this. Look, here I'll even demonstrate for you. Look, do the work, bro. <laughs> Enrique, if you really have that much of a problem with me, dude, like, I don't know what to tell you, man. He might pop up on you. you. He might pull up. And Cayenne, the troublemaker, said, thanks, Henry, to April and, Av and Alex. Never talk about my marriage again. God damn. If he pulls up on me, hey, meet me on the mat. Houston has a mutual, or excuse me, Texas has a mutual combat law. We can go three <laughs> rounds on the mat. Oh, yeah, they sure do. Here, here's the thing, right? You want to you be a martial artist? I'm not a martial artist. I'm not. But I can tell you what I do have that Drew has proof of, that Henry has proof of, that some others have proof of. I got quick hands. My yeah. grandmaster says I have quick hands. The masters I train with say I have quick hands. They told me when I broke the board that it's like a meteor coming down. Their word's not mine. So if you're prepared for that, let's go. Ooh. Cha He's the challenge down. gauntlet is down. He's putting it down. Well, and speaking I of martial arts, and I'm going to let Answer really team, team on the martial art thing, but I just want to say this. He's not a martial artist. He never has been. Even, let's say, in some strange life he was, he doesn't conduct himself by the code of martial arts in any way he never has. And that has been a big issue. And and, and we've, we've talked about it. I'm like, you know, you can't be going around saying that because you can't claim that. I can claim that. You can't claim that. I said you have not put in the work to be a martial artist. You have not done that. And it's embarrassing. And it tarnishes every martial artist when you do things like this and you try to claim that because it identifies all of us together in a group, unfortunately, when you do this sort of thing. And he was OK with that, you know, and, and, and he used it when it served his purpose. That's not the way to do things. Not at all. You know, Henry, I sent you a video. Um, 
when answer comes up, uh, you know, you can tag it with his together and you can kind of see what we're working with there. But the thing about it is Rican's life is just, it's crazy. And I know this because I've been around him long enough and I've been telling him because I know people are like, well, Drew, how can you let him do this? And how can you let him do that? Listen, everybody. I'm a grown man. He's a grown man. This grown man tried to take a lost grown man and tried to help him. But at the end of the day, when I'm not there and he's deep in his thoughts, he makes his own decisions. And as you can just see by that uh, little thing they put up there, he made his own decisions. I didn't tell him to do that. I would tell him not to do that. I was telling him not to do that when when she first came into the picture. Who is she? Say she, names. Ah, April. All when right. she, <laughs> she was first there, he looked and he was like, oh, yeah, you know, like he liked her. Like he, he obviously was attracted to her. OK, fine. Gotcha. You think she's pretty. All right, cool. I told him, here's the thing. She's married. She's got this. She's got kids, whatever. I told him that. Don't mess with her. Leave her alone. It's probably not the best idea. Kenny was there. I said that. I said it again when Angel was there. Yeah, that's I brother told starving. Him, yes, sir, brother. Don't hang around. Angel told him too. Do not hang around her when things started to get bad or a little rocky or whatever. Don't hang around. We kept telling him, leave her alone. Don't mess with her. And he kept messing with her. Even when she was like, I'm out. He chased her down and made things worse. So we told him about all these girls, all these problems. Don't do this. Leave it alone. You know, and of course, we're only getting a part of the story because we don't have all the texts when he's hanging around at night, hitting these girls up on his phone. But we knew because it's him. He's talking, you know, to these girls and he's telling us, yeah, you know, there's this girl and this girl. Oh, yeah, she's cool. It's cool. But I'm going because I'm old enough to know. That means you're you like her. That means you're probably talking to her. That means this is probably happening. And then later on, like Strife will tell you, he'd be like, oh, man, you know, this situation just went bad and this girl is doing bad. And I don't know. And it's like, well, what'd you do? Well, I was like, didn't I tell you to leave that girl alone? <laughs> well, you know, I just and then, and I'm just like, don't do this. What's, I up, keep telling her. what's up with him telling he he love her? Like, what the hell was that? And shout out to my man Deoxy, best comic book Power Ranger content creator in the goddamn world, saying I'm on my morning tea break and still going. Yeah, still going. Make sure if y'all in the comics, go subscribe to my man Deoxy 360 channel. Deoxy, I will hit you up about some comic book stuff. So he just kept going at her. He kept going at her. She left. She left. <laughs> and he would not leave her alone. Now, the you crazy know? thing is, there's another woman that he brings up. And her name is yes. Melissa. And I remember yes. when Melissa said she was moving. He was like, hey, we could be roommates. Mm-hmm. Do y'all do y'all remember the roommate? I remember thing? that. Yep. He I said, do. I let's that be chat. roommates. I was like, bro. And I was like, bro, you, you're tripping. You're tripping because you want the roommates for all the wrong reasons. But yep. now absolutely. he hates Melissa. He absolutely detests her very existence. And I'm actually happy we didn't get to that portion in the uh the crash out uh portion. But yeah, what what the hell do you know anything about Reekin and Melissa? We off April, we on Melissa this time, y'all. <laughs> I'll I'll say a little bit because I I I I've got a lot of respect for Melissa and, and Melissa, you know, you're awesome. I'm sorry you went through this, but Rika uh, just did not Melissa, respect Melissa. Uh, and she, she she's comfortable really to um, work out that being situation a keyboard warrior to get him to see that, and he just would not respect her boundaries, and it just didn't go good. I uh, I won't say too too much, but I will say Melissa had numerous times come to me privately to vent about Rika. Yeah, during the intervention, after the intervention, up to this point, uh, also because uh, me and Melissa have gone through similar things in the past. Uh, obviously I'm not asking her to be my second girlfriend or anything like that. Cause I, I you know, I know, <laughs> <laughs> I know boundaries on like reeking, but, uh, but you know, I like, I, if somebody's going through that similar situation, I definitely understand like, yeah, you know, this, I've dealt with this stuff like that too. So I understand why Melissa was not uncomfortable because if you got like, a, you know, coming at somebody coming at you like that, super aggressive, it's just, it's just going to be weird and uncomfortable. 
And he just didn't understand that. And I mean, Henry, how many times did we tell him, try to explain to him things in VC and his ego would just be like, oh, well, no, this, this, and this. I'm like, it was like talking to a brick wall. He's talking to a brick that, wall. Even when, that whole, even when he was accusing um, Unworthy of stealing his shit, we literally oh, had to show you. him the post of them putting out their idea of the Ninjetti Returns. Uh, and I think I think the year was like 2020 or something. Two years yeah. before he put out his when they were looking for voice actors just to convince him, no, they didn't steal anything from you. And he and he also lied about that in one of the Renee videos too and stuff like that. He's like, well, no, it was like, so I was like, no, you accused him of stealing. Like you, you try to make it out that it was like an Aaron Deoxy thing when it was didn't even happen. Yeah. It, it, it was so – and then, like, the other thing, too, is, like, even then, right away, when we showed him that – I remember that VC Henry, he didn't admit he was wrong until, like, the next 10 minutes. <laughs> Took him 10 old minutes to be like, oh, okay, yeah, my bad. And then, like, the whole, like, that fairy talk crash out and stuff like that, too, that, that was just a mess in itself. And that could be a, a whole other stream, honestly. But TLDR, it's just, like – then he was still saying, like, stupid stuff. I said, bro, this is, like, why – I mean, the the good thing, I guess, that came from it out of Fairy Todd for being a liar, but it's just like it was a whole, it was yeah, a whole yeah, mess, yeah. man. So. Yeah, I mean, I I can see how you feel feels about gay people. It's all, good. Uh, but anything else y'all want to contribute? One last message to uh, Rekin, so I can mm -hmm. get some other people up here. I got I got lots of stuff because I'm just letting it I'm letting it all go because the way he disrespected and treated everybody, Renee included, um, Kenny included, just everyone, the way he's disrespected strife, um, the way he's just done everybody, you included, mm -hmm. Dust, you know, <laughs> everybody, Francis. It, I mean, he went through everybody and he said the worst things that he could possibly come up and and, and he kept doing that. And so I tried to be like, all right, I'm not going to get in this. I'm going to let this kind of. And then I was like, OK, this is so bad. I got to get in this, you know, like because it, it just it needs to be straightened out. And I would say, Rican, you need to go get help. You need to just stay offline. You need to get yourself just adjusted and you need to stay away from social media, man. This is not for you because you're not ready for any of this. Leave it alone. I know you don't have a script. Yes, I did give you. I did give you the script that I had, the professional script when I worked on the Alien Project. I allowed you to, I sent it to you in PDF. And, all, and I said, you don't know how to write a script. Here's how you format a script. And I said, and I'll help you through this. Check this out. Work on this. Here we go. And the only thing he said was, man, that's a lot of pages. That's all he could say. <laughs> and I'm like, a script is a lot of pages. And here's the thing. Yeah. I kept telling him, I said, if, if, the, if you're not ready to put it out, cool. Okay. But don't make it sound like you got it ready to go tomorrow. Okay. You got Johnny Boshi to, you talk to them, but they didn't sign on the contract with you. Well, he don't, no. he, didn't, he didn't have a contract to present. So when he said, that's right, he's like, got no contract. And it's not like they met you and they're like, hey, um, let me get your contact info and let's try to talk this week for sure. I, I'm interested. I want to get this down. OK, if they don't say that, it's just OK. Yeah, that's cool. And thanks for coming. And he has to understand that it doesn't mean you have 100 percent cosign for them to do that. For your project at all you might want them but you don't have them and you got to understand the difference between having them and just talking to them one interaction at a convention because you're one out of many people that have come through that line that have brought them something or gotten an autograph or had a conversation and they might follow you a little bit on instagram because you're a fan and they think it's cool but that's it it doesn't mean you're in with these people. You know, you got to understand the difference because you're having a problem with reality right now. What is real <clears throat> and what is not like the truth. OK, the truth of the matter. You got to understand the truth. We have all been telling you the truth. If you go this way, it will go bad. If you do this, this will happen. This is what a real script looks like. This is what one doesn't look like. You need to learn the Let difference. Him cook. You want to 
to hang out in rooms with Hasbro and bigger stars and that sort of thing. Oh you got to be able to hang with them and speak that language and conduct yourself in such a way where they do want to mess with you and they like your personality, where they're willing to go on a tree limb edge for you to make this happen. But you're coming at people all crazy and sideways and hot headed and not being respectful. They don't want to mess with you. Does he? And have, so, go mm-hmm. ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt, but does, does no, no, no. Go does ahead, he have any family members or friends like that have his best interest at heart? That's not that he didn't meet on the internet. And the guy that's Dev says, was Regan smart to avoid me or a chicken shit? <laughs> Look, I don't know. Uh, it, 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 I don't know. I don't know on that What's one. his I'm family sorry, situation? Like, where is his, like, you know, I always would have my sister to, to hold me accountable, even if she I did I'm know crazy. a lot about his family, but I don't think they were really in the picture as much. At least he was he was always kind of away from them was what what I knew. And my guess would be that they might not be as supportive, you know, but the thing about it is Hold at on. his age, I, th- mm-hmm. I think I have the artist who he stole from in the live chat. Is that true? Oh boy. Yeah. I will say, yeah, get him up for sure. Uh, I think that, I think he's back there. Okay. Hey, I'll just say real quick. Um, just so not to tie up. I just want to drew up with me because we both kind of dealt with Rican. Yeah. Italy. Uh, just going to say, Henry, thanks again, as always. And my my quote I'm going to leave Rican with, to quote Karate Kid Part 2, now to you, I am dead, Rican. So. Damn. Final quote from you, Drew. My final quote is this. I will say this. You know, I fought for you, man. I stuck up for you. I went through the fire with you. I backed you. I tried to help you, and I really tried to get you on a, on a better track and, and really tried to make your life more aligned, you know, and you didn't want that. And I cannot help you if you don't want it. And obviously you don't. So this is what I'm going to say. Lose my phone number, go do your thing. And I pray that you find the best path for you because it's obviously not me and it's not strife. It's not Henry. It's not any of us. So I can't do nothing for you. And if you guys want me to come back up, I'll come back up and I'll talk about the Laura situation. I'll explain that part if you want. Okay. Just just hang tight. Hang tight. Yeah. Thank you. Hang guys. tight. Right. Strife, Thank hang you. tight too. <laughs> Diane, his little cheerleader who used to fall asleep in the voice chat. You got a whole ass husband and a couple kids and you falling asleep in another man's discord like a little teddy bear in the pillow. Falling asleep like it's free anytime minutes after nine. Falling asleep <laughs> in the discord. Lightly. <laughs> He wasn't asking. He was telling, you know, sometimes what they do is give you the illusion of choice. You know, it's like, you know, hey, can you do this for me? Like, and if I said no, it's going to be a problem. (laughs) So what's up, answer 06? How are you? What's going on with with your fellow martial artists crashing out? No, 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 I will admit, we had a conversation in the group and we did discuss the soft stream, right? But I didn't know the full context of it. So I took it some type of way. And then there was conversations that was had in that chat that was supposed to remain private because mm-hmm. I specifically said I do not consent to any recordings or disclosures of this conversation and he disclosed it. So Alexander Ortiz, I'm gonna sit there and dox you. You pissed me off. You're not a martial artist. You never will be a martial artist because you don't carry yourself like a martial artist nor a man. No one talks to women in such derogatory terms that you have been doing since all this crash out stuff happened. Yeah, I'm calling you out. Reading a book does not make you a martial artist. Just training two years in a martial art does not make you a martial artist. How many black belts did Jason Geiger claim? Man, it jumped. It went from like two to three to six. Six. So can, can we just agree on one number? <laughs> Look, man, you got to talk to ASJ about that shit. I don't All right. Know. So six, right? So, 25. 25? <laughs> so if I was to complete and read this book. Uh-oh, that oh, you got book? it. This was the book that Jason Geiger wrote. Yes. <laughs> now... 
right. Y'all. <laughs> I shared some uh, some pictures with you, Henry. Some video. You're more than welcome to pull any of them that you randomly would that you would want to pick up. You could randomly post it, and we could talk about it. Something that he could never earn is this right here. Yeah. Because he's too busy, you know, indulging in the devil's lettuce and any other psychedelics that he may be taking. But, uh, mm -mm, no. Are you going to punch it or what? Is he going to punch it or what? That was too short, right? Oh, no, no, no. There y'all go. Um, I got plenty more, but you know, I just had to to randomly. Uh, yeah, randomly yeah. pick. Like, no, absolutely. And Henry, I sent you a video too. Jesus, and it's not man. that I'm boasting or anything like that, but it was just to prove a point. Like I walk my life in a certain path to honor, you know, the the martial arts. And if you're gonna climb, you got to sit there and do it. And him saying saying that. And the way he is reacting and talking down to people, no, definitely not. Sorry, I can't claim you in my community. Definitely cannot. Uh, it, it it irks me. It, if it wasn't for the martial arts, I probably wouldn't even be here. Because, like, for me, when I was young, growing up in New York City, growing up in uh, Flatbush, uh, New York, in Brooklyn, I got jumped by the Bloods. That was what got me into the martial arts. So it's like, mm -mm, no, it put me on a better path. So like for you to sit there and act the way you're acting, like, no, don't ever claim it again. No, yeah. that that's the thing about it. If I could add on to that, you know, you, you, you disrespect the martial arts when you do that, unfortunately, and you're probably not thinking clearly. But that's what happens when you don't know. You need to start learning about these things and how important uh, martial arts is and, and other things in life as well, like that you might be disrespecting. And because you have, you're not owning up to it and you don't care. That's a big no. It's one thing if you don't know and somebody tells you and you go, you know what? I messed up. I want to become educated on that. I don't want to do that anymore. Great. But. If you're walking like the way you've been walking and nobody can tell you anything and you got this all figured out, that is a big no. And unfortunately, like anything else, life will come around full circle and tag you one day and you'll have to deal with the consequences of that because you chose to act that way. You need to not ask for respect. I had a conversation with you and you said, they're going to give me respect. They're going to give earned. me respect. It's earned. It's, uh, thank you, Henry. It it's is earned. earned. It's, it is earned, right? It's earned. A true man doesn't seek it. He receives it. That's right. By the deeds that he does in his life on a daily basis. That's what that's about. You are expecting way too much when you need to expect to earn it. Not expect to get it, but to earn it. And you have continued and continued to embarrass yourself online. And you have embarrassed me to the core. And you have embarrassed Henry, <laughs> answer, you've embarrassed all of us yeah. by your actions. I because <laughs> you think you know everything about life and you don't know a thing. And now you're going to have to pay for it. I can't stop it. You have started to move this stuff in motion on your own, by your own actions. And now the R word, which is responsibility, is the other thing you got to learn because you don't have it. You need to learn to be responsible. I have worked with you to show you how to be a father. How to be a husband. I have tried to explain to you. Is he married? Used to be. I saw him wearing a wedding ring on in his mm -hmm. interview with Renee. I'm like, what the hell's going on with that? Used to be. Not not anymore. Okay. So he's but the thing about it, he's not anymore, but he still has children. <laughs> and see, that's the thing. He needs to be showing them 
how to be a father. He needs to show them how important that is. He needs to take that seriously. He needs to show them how to treat women. He needs to show his daughters how to be a woman and what to expect out of a man and what a good man is and what a bad man is. Every father is responsible for that. We all know this. And you don't get to escape from that. If you think smoking those big Bob Marley rolls of weed that you always smoke are going to magically put some dreadlocks together and form some weird spirit of Obi-Wan Kenobi to help you in life because you smoke so much weed, it just it, it's just going to come back in the kitchen. It doesn't work. You need to be the one. You need to be leading them and you need to be setting the example. And it all gets back to martial arts because if you were really a martial artist, we wouldn't be having this conversation. And whoever you worked with, whether if it was a sensei, a master or a sifu or an instructor, they would be leading and helping you to learn that. <laughs> True. True. Yeah. In a conversation that I think we all had with him, he uh -huh. claimed that he trained with a sensei, but his martial art was a Chinese martial art. Isn't the correct term Sifu? Yeah, that's correct. He would have had a Sifu. Uh, Stop the cap. Stop what is, the what cap. is this term for? Like, you know, you got stolen valor for people who try to placate like they've been in the military. What is this term for people who try to placate as if they're like a higher degree in martial arts than what they truly are? We just call them fakes. Last time I heard, <laughs> they're just we call them fakes. Because you had a sheet of kill. You had Frank Dukes, as me and Answer talked about. Yeah, you had um, Count Dante, who said he had magical martial art powers. Go ahead, Answer. Hey, so, so Henry, Dad, picture the last one you posted up. The that was a class one, and I was deployed in Afghanistan, just training with sailors and uh, some airmen. So. <laughs> Unlike ASJ, I actually helped train the military while deployed. So there goes another one. <laughs> uh, some of the other pictures I sent you, my Hall of Fame induction. Okay. My Hall of Fame induction certificate. Uh, I'm in the same Hall of Fame as Jason Frank. Come on. It's not that I'm boasting about it, but seriously, don't sit there and poison the martial art community. Go fix yourself. Go ahead and uh, try to do your project. Uh, I'm sorry, but I was going to support unit, but I'm backing out uh, because you don't represent what I represent as far as values go. I'll never sit there and talk down to a woman or to anyone like that. And uh, yeah, you've always led with respect and kindness, man. Yeah, I, no, I just can't. I just can't uh, be associated like that. And then uh, you also lied because you did try to force Francis to take a side on it. And then that's when Spencer said, hey, uh, let her think about it to kind of give her a way to back out of that situation. I'm only talking about it because I got permission for everyone that was in that chat to talk about it. So there you go. Damn. Tell him I, to pick I was side. also there when that comment was made, when that was made. And I sign off on that. He's 100 percent telling the truth. Damn. He sure did, dude. Well, guys, I would never tell you to pick a side between me and anybody. So y'all, y'all good right here. Uh, go watch and support who you like. As I've no, always absolutely. said. Go ahead. One well, more last, last thing, thing. answer. If Rican's gonna sit there and do a rebuttal, and he mentions my name in it. I'm just saying this: the invitation's open. Come December first, I'll be in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Come find me. Oh shit. I'll I'll drop the pin. I got your number. I'll drop the pin. Come find it. You are the second person to say, hey, come, come, you know, come see me. But look, y'all, I got to drop y'all down. I got, not yet. Not, I know, not, Drew. I Drew. I know you got, it's I got, like I got other the people. Video, the, the, the video. You got, the, I didn't see your video. Did you oh, see? I sent it to your email because it wouldn't go to your thing. Let me what? see, man. Uh, I, I got to add. I gotta add on to what what my guy 06 said. I gotta I gotta do this right. right I gotta do this let me right. Try to pull this up quickly, quickly. I see Kenny Lowe's story. I see Drew Danger. God damn! I gotta download this shit. It's only a minute. It's only a minute. It's short. All right. 
they're watching it now. Let me. I can't. I can't make it to where you see it, uh-huh. uh, because it's it's a difficult process because it's not like on YouTube. That's cool. Uh, but what I can do, no, 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 no. F all that. F all that. We gonna give you some respect that okay. you are commanding from me, guys. One day I'm gonna run my own YouTube channel, and I'm gonna run it. <laughs> I'm gonna run it the way I want to run it, and stop letting people. Uh, tell me how to run it. You know what I'm saying? Because right now it's just horrendous. It's horrible. Uh, Jesus, it's a it's a minute. Goddamn. All right. Um, hey, you could play a small snippet of it, and then I'll help narrate it. All right, because y'all not gonna be able to hear it. Okay. Okay. So give me a second. I wish I could play it in uh something else but y'all like y'all ain't gonna be able to hear it give me a second present share screen actually i might be able to upload it no y'all still ain't gonna be able to hear it um window uh, it's okay if we don't have audio just a visual would help yeah camera hub gotta pull this shit up this is what i'm talking about y'all there we go, right there. Sure. Okay. They're okay, not Okay, this is me today. This is me today. You there so, y'all not gonna be able to hear it, but let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And I got MS, guys, so I apologize if I'm a little shaky. My my legs weren't moving the way I needed them to move. But um you, you can check that out. I know my grandma so, gonna be happy to see you. She watching now. Let's go. Henry, Drew. He- MS that has a de- debilitating uh, disability. His hand movement was really fast. Then when I he see. takes off the glove, is even faster. So, like I have told Drew before in the past, all he needs is like a minute of fast twitch movement in the event that he had to defend his family to give them a time time to escape. So from this a situation. is this is what you was gonna do when you saw Brit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we don't condone violence. I mean, no, no, no. I mean, no. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, Brent. No, I would never do that. Brent is what in the background. Is it, is it, I think it? Brent just clicked it's off it, because right? he's scared now. He's scared now. <laughs> Brent's scared. Uh, all right, man. You didn't intimidate Brent, man. God damn. <laughs> But right. for real, for someone <laughs> with a disability that he has, he's still able to perform and carry himself as a martial artist. And you can still see that the skill set hasn't left him yet. So uh, the person that I'm sharing the screen with is definitely a martial artist. So okay, just try to do right by people. Yeah, That's, that's all we got to do. All right. Well, that's right. thank you, fellas. And I'm answer- kind of like this does not make you a martial artist. No. And the person I share the screen with is a master. I know he's going to be like that, but you are a master. And I want to lead to this. So answer, this is, uh, you guys ever see Enter the Dragon? Yeah. That's Jim Kelly. I was supposed to train with Jim Kelly. And I want to point, Rican, when you train and you stay humble, you get blessed. I was supposed to train with Jim Kelly. He died of cancer a week later. Okay. After we talked about this. And I didn't get a chance. This is a guy that trained with Bruce Lee. He was an Enter the Dragon with Bruce Lee. This guy was the man. This was the first black martial art champion in history in Asia. Right here. Nice. nice. That's just, and this is what happens when you stay humble and you know how to talk to people. You get blessed. And this is what you need to learn. I want you to remember that. this You want to get to these people? Earn that respect right here. All right. Thank you, guys. Like, I got other people I got to get to. I appreciate it. All right. I know we get long winded. All right. Us. Peace and peace. Us. Except I oh, wasn't wow. going to be a clown for nobody, Renee. And they're trying to paint it like I'm some grifter taking the money from Henry Cord because all the people that donated to the movie so far were people in mm-hmm. Henry Cord. So Henry felt like he had to shoot that out the sky. Uh, with this false propaganda, tried to fire shots. Because the only reason why I know that he fired shots at me is because 
it was worded the way he worded it. Whoa, whoa. He took shots at you? I, I, I've been trying to tell you that all night, but uh, I guess you got, uh, I got the grand finale. So I, I'm going to put you up on some game. Uh, what I recognized that went over your head. Okay. Give it to me, Sean. So I was on Dust video. If you go back to Dust Halloween video. Uh-huh. And, and so I said in Dust Halloween video, I said, if you're going to come at the king, you uh, you better not miss. <laughs> and he said, for Henry Resilience minions that said, if I come at the king, he fired shots. Oh. Calling me a minion. Okay, I Rick see. And I Ranger, the connection. Rick and Ranger, Alexander Ortiz, whatever the fuck your name is, I'm talking to you. I'm from Michigan. I've never been scared of anybody. Nobody puts no fear in Let me. him cut. But God, don't be uh, calling somebody a minion because for one, you fired shots that shouldn't even have been fired. I stood behind this dude uh, in support of uh, his little bullshit ass comic, bullshit, whatever, that's, that's never ever gonna come out. That's never gonna come out. So his little fancy pipe dream you have written, uh, it's like smoke, uh, uh, straight up. What I'm saying is all this other bullshit, then he comes at you like, instead of talking the shit out with you and trying to reprimand shit, I was trying to stay peaceful. And I told you that I blocked him to stay peaceful because I didn't want to get into it. But when you start firing shots at not just the king, but you fire shots at me, I'm going to take some exception to it. And for me, that's a punk ass move. You're a punk ass for firing a fucking shot like that. And then, then on top of that, you're going to say you got disabilities. First of all, I'm diabetic. Type 2 diabetic. I take Prozac for for my, uh, for a learning disability, for mood swings and anything. So uh, you pull up on me, bro. I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> Flat the fuck out. I have an acid. Let him and, cook. And allergy thing. So you pull up on me, I'm going to fuck you up straight up. And there ain't no talk. Straight up. But uh, you best believe if you come at me, you better not mess. Um, just like Henry, that's the king in my city. I'm the king. So you pull up on me. And another thing, Henry, can let me ask you a question. Go ahead, man. Um, how long have I been a part of your stream? I've been day one, stream one. More than you, two years, right? Yeah, you've been here from the very beginning. And Sean will message me on Instagram from time to time. Like. <laughs> And so, you've been around Rican or Alexander Ortiz. You've been around for a drink of coffee, motherfucker. <laughs> Nine <laughs> months I've known that guy. <laughs> straight up, if if uh, straight up, you've been around for a cup of coffee, and and you claim you uh, you got a rap career, motherfucker. I ain't heard of you. <laughs> you talk about you on Benzino's mixtape, motherfucker. Benzino's not even uh, a popular name. Uh, I could understand if you said I was uh, I was doing a, a feature with Eminem, but Eminem shut little Benzino down. <laughs> so, so you fuck around with us Michigan people, bro. Uh, you're gonna get served up a platter, bro. And so for your rebuttal, I, I hope you bring me up in the shit. But if you wanted to get man, uh, uh, why didn't you just uh, link up? Despite what Henry was say to your ass, then you talk shit about you talk about Francis, uh, the queen of the court. You t uh, then you play some dirty sh you play some dirty sh and you're going to have April come with you. I don't know April from a fucking hole in the wall. <laughs> Your words exactly. And, and you're going to try to get her to try to uh, put a low blow. Henry, you should come up on that stream tomorrow, bro, and put his motherfucking ass on. Oh, on, on he's watching bro. now. He's watching now. He's big and bad. And he hey, if you so big and bad, won't, uh, won't he uh, hit the link and come up? He, ain't, he, ain't got some, he may be I dumb, got, but he ain't that stupid. <laughs> I got some work. I got some work for that cocksucker. <laughs> Straight up. Uh, uh, like I said, it was going to be fireworks. That's why I wanted to close the show out. And I hope the rebuttal that he brings me up. I hope. Bring me up. Bring me up. I love y'all. I hope. Well, you want to talk all this bullshit and you talk, uh, you talk shit about gay people you talk shit about do you not understand that people can say you're gay bashing bro oh, there's a shit there's a crime against that shit and you're gonna fuck 
and you're gonna gay bash and you talk about women, bro. What is you uh, secretly in the closet, bro? Because oh, you resent shit. women so much. You resent women so much. You know what? Bro, you have no respect for yourself. You came out of a woman. So you should have respect for a woman, motherfucker. There is Let someone out. who said that's why he got so upset about the goddamn the meme. They say he got upset about the meme because maybe he might be into that. And you and know, sometimes it be those <clears throat> guys, the you know, the overly masculine guys. Who like, no, nah, man, don't ever play with me like that. Who really be doing that shit. So, and they just don't want to, they don't want to compromise their masculinity. Per se. Then on top of that, <laughs> on top of that, you're stealing everybody's shit just to try to make a fucking product, bro. You don't stand on brass tacks. Bro, this, this ain't the rise of the Ninjetti, it's the fall of the Ninjetti. Just let your uh, empire burn and crush and crumble around you. You, you said before, uh, what do you uh, uh, do we have a funeral uh, and throw the white dragon body over the coffin? We, uh, we should have a funeral for your fucking uh, the Raja Ninjetti and throw the fucking Ninjetti armor over the coffin. The you uh, you don't got us in the court. You don't got us fucked up because if you come at one of us, you best come at all of us. Let the fuck out. Then you talk shit about Dust, Dust Productions, but you're mad because he, he outed you? You're mad because he fucking because he told the truth about you that's the thing bro you're always happy with people as soon as a person goes against you and test uh, test what you're doing you go against them you review you review their privacy everything is told to you in private straight up that, uh, i'm glad i ain't say nothing to you uh, i did say one thing to you that i wanted an autographed com uh, comic book of the rise of ninjetti because i believed in you at once no i don't believe in shit I believe that uh, you could go eat a dick and die, bro. <laughs> Goddamn, Sean. Sean, man, I've never seen Sean like this before, bro. Henry, if you clip it, you clip it, but. You know uh, this shit getting clipped, bro. You know this shit getting clipped. Bro, I got the camouflage. Full camouflage, bro. Thank I'm you. ready for work. Hey. Oh, shit. I'm man. ready for work. I, uh, I bet you that ninja uh, wish he never stuck his head out the door. <laughs> Shit. Oh, hey, look, man. You came, you saw, you conquered, you cooked them. And on top of that, right? On top of that, Sean, you hit the eight minute sweet spot. Now I just got to go through and remove some cursing, but I'm happy I was able to provide you a way to get all that shit off your chest, man. I am. And Fran Francis was and looking good. <laughs> and thank you for your support, man. It does yeah, not go I'm, unnoticed, man. You've been supporting me from day mother one. Right. If he tried to come and get me to switch sides, bro, there ain't no way that I'm ever switching sides ever. That's what I'm, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be here from the rise of uh, Henry Resilient to the fall of Henry Resilient if it go, ever goes that way. <clears throat> he's supposed he's supposed to stay resilient, bro, but I guess he dropped the ball. <laughs> All right, Sean, you done, man. You done. You did it. You did it. Thank you, Sean. Uh, hey, another thing. Go ahead. Another thing. Um, uh, Alexander Ortiz, Rick and Ranger. Um, don't stay resilient because um, you could go fuck yourself. So, uh, rest of uh, rest of my people in the court, stay resilient, bitches. <laughs> All right, goddamn boy. Holy! <laughs> what that was not was I was expecting in the day. Is not what I was expecting today. It is a degenerate time. Hey, it could be whatever time you want, man. God damn. Sean over here just came out of nowhere. He said he wanted to go last for a reason. And he delivered. He delivered more, more. Now, let me leave y'all with this. We got more text message between uh, April and Rican. He's the one making people uncomfortable with his memes and his trolling.